Cheers. Mm -hmm. I love you. Oh my god. <laughs> Great for that body. I'll layer it to my socks. Oh, come on. Tricky, y'all. Nurses. <laughs> what else down here? Let me see. It's all good. Mm -hmm. oh, this is nice. Appreciate it. I just restocked CBD, CBG, and Moolin leaf tea. Mm -hmm. But I'm Moolin built a long, just straight up powerhouse trio. I can't put it down yet. Look, I'm still sitting with that tea like it ain't hot. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Try to eat it. <laughs> oh God! I do like it though. Man, with the honey. <laughs> Remember that too. Wow, this is nice. Oh, the honey is in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking. Man, and listen. And that's not time release, that honey. Wow, it's so not. It's I was not. thinking like, remember, like in life, when was that Mark Lawrence? Whatever, ate that pie. Oh, that ate that pie real quick. It was hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, look, I just was just. Pie? Even though it was hot, I was just still trying to break the tea. And yeah, it, it really is smoking. That life, life, that, that life. Anyway, nah, I'm happy you like it though. For real. Um, yeah, I am. It's good. I like it. I'll make you a nice honeycomb box. Which I got tea right now, but the rest of my products, yeah, they'll be back in stock. Um, hopefully Saturday. Mm -hmm. I should be done. I like it. Okay. Well, we'll let you know. Let us know when it's out here. When it's outside. Sure. Will. So we can go. You know what I'm saying? Get some more of that because. This is good. No. Mm. Miss Pari. Oh, okay. We live. I'm sorry. Are, are we live or not live? We, we, we not live. It's just like a I saying. Mean, it could be live. It's just saying like we live. We live in the inside. We live. Yeah. Like, I think we live is like now cast trans me to like, no, we live. Like, oh, yeah. For sure we live. live. You know what I'm saying? You know. Live <laughs> in Florida. Hello, live. Um, How are you Florida? this evening? Oh, I'm good. I'm okay. I'm feeling I'm nice. Good. Feeling um, nice. The I cannabis teas. Cannabis teas. <laughs> so I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling very comfy. Yeah. Got my comfy outfit on. You know what I'm saying? Black Proud. coffee. You know, then you can be sexy a little bit. Oh. But I'm all smart. You you know, chilling. That's my vibe. <laughs> I like that. Look, I'll be seeing you all over all the ads. Look. Skin ad. Thank you. I'm on TV putting on lotion TV sometimes. What? Come on. I like to put on lotion though. Yeah, I've probably done seen her uh, quite a few times. You know, more to come. So what's been going on with you lately? I see, um, I've been stalking your page, you know, a little bit. I see you had a few auditions you just recorded for. How, how is that like? You know, how is that life? You know, what is oh, that like? Man. So, okay, so pre-COVID, life as auditioning was pretty cool. You drive around, you just go see your, you go see the casting directors in Los Angeles and hella traffic all day, but you know, get your schedules, your appointments, and you go see those people and you know, you're casting. And you see people in person, the clients in the room sometimes, you know, things like that are, you know, the ad agency is in the room and you know, sometimes, you know, you get the opportunity. Um, now, uh, post COVID, yeah. you have to do the self tapes. You record it in your home, your living room, and your, in your messy room whatever you gotta so put things to the side or you gotta do you gotta make it and work acting out the script yeah, all that all that by yourself now and um it's different yeah modeling life and uh, acting auditioning like auditioning life for commercials tv shows uh videos all those things have changed mm -hmm. so much for me and i realized like look i'm an in-person person like I, what i gotta yeah. do what i gotta set <laughs> What? So now I had to learn how to set up a camera and I bought a camera. Wow. And I, had to, I had to learn now how to do Come on, production, production yeah. <laughs> and I'm like still in my early stages. I got this new camera. I'm like, it's Canon Mark ESO, ES2 or whatnot. Come on. It's nice. What? Uh, yeah. it's, it's working. But I, mm -hmm. I realized now I need like a a lens, you know. I need, okay, I need to get okay. better. Yeah. To get better shots. Get some, what, like a zoom? Or yeah, yeah. maybe the problem that you working with now? A three, what the the, the number? Oh, I think it's a three point five. Girl, it's in my bag. I'm now buying like production things, wow. and um, it's a journey now. But um, it's a journey, and um, it's challenging. Uh, uh, it is. It's like wow, I didn't. Okay, just sitting there, you have to be in your own space and just go to somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's tight though, you know. 
You don't have to leave your home. Yeah, essentially. that's the good. And now to cut out the LA traffic. And it also oh. cut out you having required you have to live in LA to actually work and book in LA because wow. you know you you don't have to be there all the time to go mm-hmm. see different clients every day. You just work. Um, you go there for work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, it changed a lot. Of people have left. A lot of people say have left LA because of that reason. Because yeah, that's yeah. why people are there, right? Right. Because um, you have to be there. You have to be there. Get it. But now, now you can be wherever you want to be. I had a call back for a major ad. Mm-mm-mm. Well, while I was in Tulum, uh-uh, mm-mm, uh-uh, no, sir, I'm with, I'm, with, I'm with the actual director of the actual ad. Wow. I'm on my call back. They wanted to see me again. No Couldn't reception. Couldn't even get the, Couldn't, oh, my that, God. That, and, oh, and I crazy. had my lines. I knew it was crazy. I was, it was, I would, I can, can I say the, I would, can I say the company? Yeah, him. It's called, it's, it was from, from Meta. It was from Meta. It was a big ad, it was a big, big ad for Meta. Jesus. It was. It was, and you know, it's been, it's times like this that we've some had some big things that we just have. And technology, and you know that you have, you you, you didn't book it. Yeah. You have to. That's that's hard too. But even look, but you already in that realm, so. It's hard. What? Yeah, it's hard to like to lose things like that. That yeah. you know, it's like dang, see, oh, I travel, I went on vacation. Damn, I missed the opportunity, right? I could have been working. I could have been working, yeah. right? Yeah. But um. Anyway, mm, that's man, <laughs> look, Meta coming back, Meta. Yeah, come on back here. Really run good. that, run that shape back. Put some more zeros on. One me. more, what? One more again, for real. All right. Nah, that's what. What would you say your? Well, shoot, maybe that one would have been like your biggest audition. Oh. so far. Hmm. I mean, you done did a lot, so. Yeah. I don't know what was my biggest audition. That's pretty that's pretty tough to, to answer, but I will say some things that I one audition that I regret or mm-hmm. obviously I regret not taking. Um so uh I'll talk about that. Um so um what year was this? Uh, a few years ago. I traveled from LA. Um uh, was 2018. Okay. I think I, um, I came to, I was leaving LA Christmas time, it was actually December. I was leaving LA, come to Atlanta, come back for the holidays to be at my family. Anyway, so I'm, I'm already have flown back to Atlanta, I'm on the East Coast now. I get a call um, from a casting director and say, hey, you know, we want to book you um, for Kendrick Lamar's music video. And I'm like, it shoots in tomorrow in LA, we need, you know. Can you can you accept this music video and um, and I said okay um, I said um, well what is the rate for this opportunity right he says the rate for the music video is four hundred dollars I quickly look up the flight real quick from Atlanta to to, um, to Los Angeles mm-hmm. it's about December so it's about six hundred and seventy five dollars for the ticket back mm. to I mean, mind you I just flew my children. Just- and myself back for the holidays wow. and as, as a single mom oh, yeah. you have to add those calculations it's like does it make sense for my family to, to, to do these to things go. yeah um anywho i i told the cast right there i'm sorry i have to decline the opportunity i'm not going to come back to la yeah i mean um it didn't work for you it didn't work for yeah. me right so fast forward to this and um this music video that i ultimately turned down was the the um, Black Panther music video with Kendrick Lamar, SZA, um, stars. Wow. Yeah. So all the stars. So every time I hear that song, I'm hurt a little bit. Like I, I, I can't believe, right? And some things you don't know what you're turning down. Sometimes you have them. You don't you even don't know, know what it's for. It's just, I know wow. it's Kendrick Lamar. I did. I did. I but didn't know what no it was food. for. Right. So um, people are like, why are you not Black Panther? I'm like, you know what? You and you would have known. I'm like, right. I, 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 I said I am in Black Panther. I am in Black Panther. Because you know, like, you shouldn't be Black Panther. I'm like, I know. I I right. know. You're right. Absolutely. And I agree with you. Um, but that was my that I that was um opportunity that I always will regret. Listen. Like not taking. But you know I'll be a third one. And I want to be a yeah, part of it. Yeah, it's a third one. So yeah. That's, that's so, yeah. you. So, I see that all day, for <laughs> sure, for real. What? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. But so I anyway, so no biggest one, but one hmm. I remember that. And the biggest yeah. one, uh, you know. But that was a, opportunities. Yeah, that was yeah. a big opportunity. That looked, and that 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 pipe was gonna pay me the least of, of anything, right? But right. It's, so what I realized, what that taught me is, Tare, it's not about money all the time when we do things. 
you know mm -hmm. you really have to move on your spirit like how do you feel that's true that's you true. know what i'm saying so that taught me as well that taught me a lesson in terms of not, not the dollar amount because just being a part of Black Panther was so it was priceless yeah, for me, honestly, right? Yeah. It, there's no dollar amount on right, that, I right? Mean, it's just, right? You know, but yeah. sometimes God shows you, you know what I'm saying? I, it, it, it put things in perspective for you. What are you doing these things for? What do you, is it solely for the dollar amount for money or is it something that you truly resonating with, you know, want to do and really pursue and grow in this industry. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I learned a lot, but hey, one thing about mm. it, your biggest regrets may teach you a lot. And come maybe, on. I, you uh, held that in, because that was 2018. Yeah, 2018. You done done a lot since then, so you yeah. held that and kept I, moving forward. I keep on going. For real, wow. Mm -hmm. What would you say was the most enjoyable set that you've been on mm. <sighs> thus far? Uh, most enjoyable set. Okay. Well, no, I, I like Kodak Black. He like that. Kodak Black. That was the most like <laughs> yeah. interesting. Um, with Bruno Mars and um, that was big. And uh, Gucci Mane. What's that? Uh, Put it in. You know I'm super flat. Yeah. You know I'm super flat. Okay. Right. So that. But I mean that was that. Was, yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, Kodak. Like you know what I'm saying. Like one of like. One of my favorite uh, Floridian rappers, like oh, Florida yeah. rappers, like I, I felt with Kodak, okay? So I say, you know, I like Kodak Black. Mm -hmm. So anyway, meeting him, like working with him was cool. That was like the most like fun, like I, that was interesting. That's but, real. Um, Humble person? Yeah, he's cool, yeah. yeah. That's real. We was eating those cookies, you know, the cookies in public, while well, icing on it. That's <laughs> yeah. the one I was like, Kodak, that's what you eat me too? Okay, so you get these little snacks, you know. You right. Know, I was like, look what? at him. And um, anyway, but meeting him was just cool yeah. because it was like, um. Like my, it was 2000, but that's like after 2017, 18. 18, um, so, okay. It's one of my mom's favorite like rappers too. So that's right. like meeting him, um, after losing my mama was like, look, ma, look, I met Kodak. Like, right. look, you know what I'm saying? It right. was like, it like kind of lined up for me, like, you know, to meet him. I was like, look. Crisis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ma, you did that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I know she, my mom loves Kodak Black. So um, that was cool to meet him. That was enjoyable um, just um, on that, on that level. Um, but production-wise, um, being a part of uh, the Susan G. Coleman ad for uh, breast cancer awareness. Okay, that was big. The PSA. Yeah. yeah. That was nice um, because it catered to black women only. It was about talking about breast cancers and only check, protect our pain to black women. Uh, Vanessa Bill Calloway and Alicia Keys were on the voiceover. Mm -hmm. Like, that was really dope. Oh, yeah. And um, it was mandatory. Sack, it was mandatory all black staff, all black hairdressers, wow. director, producer, lighting uh, out of LA yes, yes. Wow. it was it was amazing it was a young director from New York young black girl and once she did that thing she did that thing mm. and and it, it was it was the first time our hair was right on set Come our on. makeup was right on set because everyone catering to us yeah it, that, us. that ad was Treat. very impactful for me my grandma had breast cancer and you know she died from breast cancer as well so just being a part of that ad and just you know, talking about it. I even had a mammogram already, okay. <laughs> you know, because I want to uh, make sure that I'm getting myself checked out early because mm -hmm. my grandmother had breast cancer. Early so, detection. yeah, that PSA was um, was dope, dope because yeah. it was all women black cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's yeah. real, you know. I met some good friends. That's good my friends to this day from that set. Wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, look, that's yeah. inspiring too. All yeah. black. What? Yeah, all black. Come on. Yeah. That's representing for real. Susan Goldman. And what about the most challenging? What would you say the most challenging uh, role you played so far? I mean, I feel like I got it all together. Let me see what I guess. What I mean, I, what look, I, you, what look I like if the you least. got it together, you got it together, <laughs> I you know? I think what I like the least doing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, what I like the least doing, um, honestly, um, is being in high heels and music videos. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't like that. That's aggravating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I realize, you know, now, you know, before, like, they want to use uh, girls look like me in music videos now. You know? Oh so, yeah, okay. absolutely. You know, I understand. I've, I've, I've been out here. I've been, I've been like this. Y'all oh. just caught on to it, and that's okay. Cause right. but you late, but I've been out here. Late to the okay? party. Okay, y'all late to the party. <laughs> so catch up. Right. Um, so now that y'all here and caught up, look, my feet tired now. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time uh -uh. how much you saying no that's crazy for how many hours that's exactly 
Um, so I'm not doing that. Yeah. I don't I don't like to do that. No. It's my least favorite thing to do. Oh, um I can understand that. Though. Yeah. And then them takes like bro, another take. <laughs> yeah. I just another did take. um Russ handsomer music video recently. And um yeah, Same. one girl like literally like fell into the pool because oh she tried to have high heels on walk in the water and like into like I was like y'all do look mm, listen doing you're doing too much yeah. you know what I'm saying no, no, listen no these listen here take them high heels off <laughs> right Get going. this is a pool listen okay I yeah. just was like that's that's a little I was sorry so yeah a little awkward that's not so my those thing. heels nah what about okay so Kalani video, mm -hmm. no heels in there. Oh, no, that, I, just, I, I didn't no. say yeah. I didn't. No, nope, not was that no, one. No, not you, that one. So that was an enjoyable See, set. Yeah, she's not like, you know, that kind of mm -hmm. pretty girl. Hey, you know, hang out in, in a pool, right. shake, shake their booty set. You know what I'm saying? It was comfortable. Kalani, I played her humanoid, her alien. Like right. I played something that was that was very enjoyable. That's so. I, that's still one of my favorite <laughs> music videos, hands down. To really? I like that. Real. That's cool. No cap. Yeah, I like that. That's real. Truly, Kalani's dope. She's cool. Um, she's really cool. Like, um, we just, we, we, I, I met her, we met and we just connected, but like, I auditioned for that the day before. The day before yes. you shot? Wow. Cause she had it, they, okay, um, who was it, um, casting on Sunset, you know, and, um, so this is a last minute recast, right? Wow. So I, I come in the day before, he called me in, right? I did audition. She saw me and she said, "That's my alien." Like she's like, "That's my person." She's oh, like, yeah. "She's like, that's her. That that's that's her." I said, "She's cool. like, yeah." I was like, "Okay, what?" I, I'm, so when I got there. She, she told me that or whatnot, but I didn't know that she picked what? me <laughs> the day before. I'm mean, like that day before we shot. Um, at the time, Clon Clonie was pregnant at the time with her baby. Um, oh, she told me wow. she got her, her daughter's name and her like things like that. Um, we just anyway, we, we we connected. Like I guess I had to be like her. Her yeah. Yeah, yeah I was like. Like an extension. Extension of her, yeah. yeah. And I didn't hear, I, I never heard the song, right? So it was the day before, right? So boom, I need to go to casting the next morning. And so I didn't even hear the song. I pulled up to like six o'clock in the morning. Boom. We had a, we had a home shooting and um, we were, we're gonna be shooting ready to go now. They dropped the song in my first scene while I'm in the shower. The song drops. I had never heard the song. Wow. It dropped. So when the song dropped, I was just like, and I heard it, and I was oh, yeah. like, "Oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? Right? For uh, real? Oh, what? Oh, this is a song? A bop, man. Yeah, for and real. it just hit me, and that was that, and we was in, we was in our shit for wow. the rest of the shit. That was it. So yeah. it was just like one home. Yeah, well, you shot in the house the whole time. The whole day. I yeah. was saying, each scene. Y'all was in the garage. Yep. You, you was in the bedroom, yeah. in the bed. <laughs> you saw you in the shower. Yeah, it was a big. Touching heads and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was a big, yeah, it was yeah. a big, it was a big house. Yeah, that was so shot in. Yeah. Ty Dollar. Ty Dollar sign pulled up. Yeah, yeah, he was very quiet. He didn't talk much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, he looked quiet. Yeah, he didn't talk much at all. Like, me and Kaylani Levi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's she's a vibe. She's single right now, too. Yeah. Again. Again, she was engaged, but her and her fiance like. broke up. Really? Yep, she back. See, I saw on live last week. She oh, trying oh. to be outside. Outside, she should be outside. Get where it she, where, where she belongs until you know? somebody actually want to keep her inside and Amen. stay inside with her. But the reality is, we all want to be outside and inside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We want to have. I think everybody want flexibility, do what they want to do. And from from being around her, understanding, and it's just like it's balance. You know, what I mean, like. Don't go close yourself up with somebody yeah. forever. Yeah. If that's not really what your heart is desiring. That desire, yeah. You know what I mean? Come on. Um, don't do that. Yeah. Right? So um I love love though. What? When, when, you a Virgo, big Virgo energy. Oh my god. <laughs> big Virgo oh, energy. Oh my god. god. Yeah. Kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <Psych>. man. <laughs> I'm a Leo I'm so back. I can turn that thing on and off at any given time. Yeah, Virgo, oh, you know. That's a beautiful thing, though. Virgo, I don't know what Virgo be doing. Virgo be acting with the bullshit sometimes. I don't but... know what they be doing out here. I don't know. I just can't. And I hate to, like, be all astrology, you know. Yeah. Astro astrology. What, what's your, what would you say the sign that you've been best uh, paired with? Oh, damn, my dating life is so fucking dry and boring. I wish I could date a variety of people. Yeah, I mean, Ugh. why not? Though? I wish I'm, I'm trying. I'm working on that. Now. Honestly, I have I a really sister. Ain't gonna say no names, but I, she does a good job dating multiple people. I want to 
I'm working on that. Yeah, that's real. Like, I really am. I'm working on that. See, that big Virgo energy don't let me do that. And yeah. I'm like, you, you better, attack. Girl, you better, <laughs> girl, you better leave me alone. Let me be out here and dance. Right. 55 people at one time. <laughs> I don't care how many days in a month. I know it's 30 days in a month. I don't 55 people at one time. <laughs> I don't care. You know, mm. I want to be like that. And I'm, I'm working on it. Okay? Yeah. I'm working on it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. no, no. No Mr. right I'm now. Working, I'm working on uh, my city girl stuff. City girl, look. <laughs> Carisha, please. <No. laughs> it's one time, too. You ain't gonna fall during the cold temperatures, girl, right? I've been skinny all my life, okay? <laughs> I had to figure work this out. <laughs> I was a little fur. For real. <laughs> come on. Nah, I can call my big behind. Teenagers gonna get in the bed with me. Come on, y'all. That one. Right. Cuddle time. Because they be trying to get in my bed at their big age. <laughs> Still. <laughs> at their advanced stage. Advanced stage. No. Man. So yes, no, I am definitely single. Single. Let me, let me look. Let me look up with clear eyes and straight face with Come that. On. I'm definitely single. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the ad right there too. Yeah. Huh? That's the ad. <laughs> Yeah, right down there. The I'm single at yes, find me. Um, yeah, I'm single because um, yeah, I'm not looking to rush because it's into anything with somebody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and oftentimes I um find myself doing that. Yeah. And it's like, wait, uh, uh-uh. I don't even really like you like that. What am I doing? Uh-uh. And I, I, I want to like you like the way you you like me. <laughs> I want to be mutual. You know, Honestly, it has to be. If it's not mutual, it hasn't been mutual lately. I've been just letting them be like, okay, mm-hmm. you like me, okay, I like you too a little bit. I guess. Right. And I'd be like, oh wait, no, not a hundred percent. Not a hundred. Yeah. yeah. So what would it take for a hundred percent? Um. What does time. that look like? Probably, it probably, it probably take time. Take time. Um, but also take somebody who just um, who really speaks to me. I really feel like that when I meet people or when I interact with people, I feel like that I know that what it is. I know because you speak to me. I speak to you in a way that that is may not be with words. Mm-hmm. You know, um, every relationship that I say I, I you know got myself into, I will say that. I've known from the beginning that this, you know, well, this yeah. isn't the person I want to spend my, my life with. Mm-hmm. And I've even said those things to those individuals. Wow. And and they'll still say, well, just maybe give it a chance. Let's see. But I, I already had known. Yeah. <laughs> and I already had expressed mm-hmm. what I had to say. And I feel like it's over. And I and I. I need to not overlook my feelings about that and not to let anyone convince me that, I should, that, I, that I should like them more yeah. than I should, than I actually nor, actually really do. That's some shit I need to like really what? put down to myself. Look, Tyree, do you like him or not? Do you, yeah. Okay, you know you don't. No matter what he say, <laughs> right. how much, whatever he do, no matter what he tries to buy you or what he tries to do for mm-hmm. you, it's not going to change that you're that not yeah. wanting this person. And I think that, um, yeah, so that's enough. Nah, that, that's enough of me not even just allowing things to keep going because of what you think. I'm gonna do what I think now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Look, you have to live for you. Um, yeah. Never living for someone else. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I Can't, think. Now. You know, yeah. we weren't made to live for other people. Mm-mm. Truly, but look. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I think. I think. Yo, uh, if the future watching, come correct. You know, be yourself. Yeah, that's better. Be yourself. Definitely, but you know it's a possibility because she is single. So I'm single. Shoot your shot. I got this single. <laughs> this is how my ring to look. No, so I'm kidding. No, I, I found this nice. at um the Indian festival. Came here to Bavar, and I took me and the girls out there. We had a oh, great time. What? I found this. I was like, this is mine. This what? is clutch. Very clutch. Yep. That thing is like. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Very bedazzling. I love a good vibe. Listen, yeah. and especially Bavar, because you know it's a hit or miss yeah. around here, boy. Like, I remember just finding really good things in Atlanta. You go to Goodwill and it's like yeah. gold in there. Here, boy, I find some good, like, beach tire, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. But, you know, it's rare. It's real rare. <laughs> I find these things. Some oh, wetsuits. Oh, yeah. That's about it. Yeah. But what would you say the biggest difference between living in Florida and living in. California. Um, California is uh, it's quite beautiful. Yeah, it's the it's the terrain. It's uh, the mountains. Yeah, it's 
the valleys it's just it's beautiful the way that the roads turn and go it's just so different um, in terms of like just the yeah the geography of that place it's it just is. really it's beautiful it is breathtaking right. um but i would definitely always take a photo of the atlantic ocean over the pacific ocean over the pacific yes. okay I, I, I know okay now we should, it, <laughs> now california had was on listen <laughs> okay, for, for the head, listen, listen, let's we'll, we'll switch your room with the with the what, water. With the water. Yeah. That um because the water is very cold there. Oh to get in. Yeah, it's very cold. Like Santa Monica. Anywhere Venice, don't matter. <laughs> Zumba, better, right? Zumba Beach. Don't cool. matter. The top. Don't no, matter. No, no, no. Um It's cold. So we get in swim sometimes, but like mm. maybe like one, like it's gotta be like hundred plus degrees, maybe more to, to do Before that. Before you can even get in. Yeah. In. So yeah. So yeah, but I like California and the people like in LA, the people is, is a it's a variety of different people. Um, Armenians, Russians, Mexicans, um, different like wow, yeah, just different Africans. Yeah. You know, um big different mix. Yeah, big mix it's of definitely people. a vibe, man. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Coming from Florida though. I love Florida. Florida is it's, yeah, it's a vibe, like you know. Florida. And even living here, I still like I feel like I don't really want to live in another state. I mm-hmm. want, you know, maybe some properties. Some places. Yeah. You know, some different Go places. Visit. You yeah. know, visit, but yeah, I think this is it. This is a good place to have a piece of property, man. As far, right. Come on. As far as the US goes. Yeah, as far as the US goes. Okay. But what about okay as far as US goes? Nigeria. Would yeah. you see yourself being over there for an extended amount of time? Could you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's that, that's that's been that's been on the conversation lately. Okay. You know, like what that looked like. You know, for me and the girls, like mm-hmm. to just spend a year, just yeah. you know, see how that works for us. Um, I haven't told them yet. But, Motherland. But yeah, going back home. You know, even just being there for the time that I can go there. It's just like never enough time. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, you know things that matter here as much it just don't matter there you know just not even not even worried about doing that you know what i mean it's not even important um so it can take your stress away you take you take your just anxiety of doing things day to day here you know strong roots over there for sure for sure yeah yeah big look Big family. I'm so, I'm so mad. I'm not going to Dirty December this year. I think I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm bowing out. Well, I know. I, I'm so sad to accept that I'm not going. Um, I, only reason I feel like, okay, government, you watching this? I don't. So I need to watch this. Yeah. But there's no reason tickets are three times as much to get to Nigeria. There's no reason tickets are. There just doesn't. Why? Well, okay. It's ridiculous mm. for tickets to what go to Nigeria right is? now. What? They're, they're, it's ridiculous. I feel like it's, it's, it's another attempt to get the black dollar because who's going to Nigeria? Black oh. people, people of African descent. I feel like it's That's just true. it's, it's mm. ridiculous. It's I ridiculous never thought high. about that. I think it's another attack to attack the black dollar again. Just to try and get look. Get all, or all just, that you can. Or maybe now you won't want to go there. So Yeah, either or. Way. Or the, but the people who are traveling back to, to December to Nigeria, have the money to go back home oh so they know for their that. family oh. no no but still they can afford to go back home we can afford to go back home but we also why? feel raped a little yeah, bit yeah why because why taking advantage of it's like why is this this much money mm, yeah what the you europe know? price is looking like i didn't even check Cooking those prices half, look, i didn't want to check right why not, what how much it costs to get to london right come now? on because that's strange i don't Pretty know that's but yeah it's really the tickets are very high and we're all like complaining about it right now all the nigerians like we're like what like you know that nigerians in the diaspora and nigerians at home so the mm-hmm. naira's drive everything like inflation is really to hurt other countries especially countries outside of america you know um this, this is really having an effect on uh, on the Naira in Nigeria and um, when that US dollars start going down, yeah, everything else, that's a domino, yeah, everything else, yeah. Like, so, mm-hmm. so yeah, it's just interesting. So I'm thinking let's stay home this year. Yeah, um, because I feel like it's to take a stand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I want to just yeah. Indeed. So, but that's a big thing that happens. Thirty December, yeah, in Nigeria, it's parties. Uh, yeah. Right now, like tenth or this, this right now, I'm going now, all the way into the first to the first of the year. Jesus. Yeah, Afro Shell is gonna be in Ghana. Burna Boy's headlining, you know. Okay. Like that, yeah. And that's just 
Terminator, Mr. Money. I thought oh, it was damn. Oh. Yeah. And what? So what is it like over there? Um, well, the roads are the best in Nigeria. Like, um, it's even, it's like, you know how we have like reflectors on our road to see the lights and see what you're going? Like, mm-hmm. that's not, it's non-existent, so you can't really see. Jesus. It's really dangerous driving, and in a sense, um, people walking through the street always, like, listen, you, you have to like, you have to be so on point to not run anybody over. Mm to buy food, buy quick, small, small, small things from yeah. from, from the sh- person selling things on the street. Um, it's it's very intense, you know, um, it's very intense. But gen- uh, generator sounds going all day. Like yeah. you just kind of like tune those out after a while. You realize like, um, and also just um, like the power outages that happen, like a power was to stop, you know, for, uh, it can be one hour, it can be 20 minutes, it can be, who knows, you never know when your, your power's going to go out. Oh, wow. So the generators are always running, they, okay. they, they pick up when your power goes off. Go and um, it's so normalized and it's so like, um, you know what I'm saying? Because what is that about? Yeah. And the thing about it is for a country that produces oil, like natural, like it's, it's, honestly, but, that's what I was thinking. It, it, because again, people are hurting themselves right it's because if every person needs to have a generator and buy oil and buy oil to fuel their generator then the people who are control of of producing that oil even though it is nigeria uh you know there's places people still are in greed doesn't matter what country they're from you know people in nigeria people are still hurting themselves still yeah yeah so um it's really um it's really the reason why there's no stable lights in Nigeria because it will help to much. right. It will, it will it will just be it'll be right. It will, people will lose a lot of money. Like solar power, like that's non-existent there right now. Because no, like eh. it can't happen because things are blocking it from happening. And again, money, you know, greed or just because not that it, people definitely Nigeria are intelligent. This. <laughs> listen mm-hmm. oh yeah the the brain magnitude okay absolutely um so it's not that people aren't capable yeah very much so capable um the blocks yeah but my dad just my dad grew up you know in nigeria and he just says that things just like you know everybody's like things not gonna change that's you know? just how it is that's just how it is and like people even everyone feel like that's just how it is either get with it or just so don't come here uh don't come here as an American teller. Try to <laughs> change trying. anything. Uh, go now. So, yeah. I get it. I mean, I definitely get that, you know, because yeah. what good did y'all ever, you know, yeah. do truly? What are we doing? So, we yeah. got to work on that. Like, mm-hmm. I think that that's something that, that's not I think, something I want to work on, you know what I mean? Like, really bridging that. Okay. And bridging those two things together and understanding that, man, we have to come together as one. What? We have to. Yeah. You know, I feel like, um, where you where you're born and where you're raised your upbringing it does determine you know is your environment right mm-hmm. so I, I can imagine growing up for me growing up and being and raised in nigeria and then coming to america mm-hmm. it is a whole what? it is it is too it doesn't yeah you, my friend um someone i was with my friend he said hopefully you know a friend of mine will come here and um I would show him how to drive in in America okay. from Nigeria. You got this valid, you know. You got to get international um, driver's license so you can drive wow. here, and um, drive so good in Nigeria. Over there. Right? <laughs> drives a speed demon car, and, <laughs> and when he comes to America, he can't understand that, like the lights that we have lights, like, oh. like like traffic lights, you know, in Nigeria. No one pays attention to them. They just, they just <laughs> go right through the light. Doesn't matter. On Lekki, they just go. I'm like. I, People, it's I, I'm, I'm there. I'm like, so y'all just gonna run the light. Yeah, ain't so nothing. we ain't nobody gonna just. We, everybody just kind of like, it just flows. Wow. It's, it's complete chaos. The chaos, but it works. uniform chaos, yeah. right? That's real. It's crazy. So when he comes here, and things are like not as chaotic. <laughs> he's like, I don't, I can't. I'm like, oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> I'm like, so I, so you can't. So it's it's, it's, it's different, right? It's a whole other way of thinking, and I think that we have to leave leave space for that for people to understand we have to mm-hmm. give ourselves grace give us somebody else grace understand that we didn't grow up the same way sure. you know mm-hmm. even in america right um, you know so 
we think that everyone should have the same story because our skin is the same color in mm-hmm. a sense, you know? And, and that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, and I think that because we are so diverse that we have so many stories and I think that we have like give each other grace and I understand like this is our this is our dopeness that we can be from all over. Come we on. are all over. This is making us cool. Blackness. It's unified. Yeah. Like we're every fucking where. Like yeah. so accept the part that you come from. And also be okay to learn someone else's where, yeah, and where, where they're, they're coming, coming from. from. And I think I think when I find me people who want to be ignorant to that, and then it's like, I can't respect you as a human. Yeah, and just nothing else. It's a, as a human, fuck a race. It's, yeah, anything else, he, uh, whatever. The human race. The human race. Like Truly. look, ethnicity, all that. If I can talk to you as a human, we can mm-hmm. get nowhere as a human. And I, I don't really want nothing. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't be, be your friend anyway. Be closed off, right? At that point, what's the point? Yeah, I want to talk. I don't want you. See, ya. go over there with them. Okay. <laughs> I feel like yeah, you definitely uh, have the best of both worlds because now you know being raised here and now being able to go back home, mm-hmm. you know that's still your home. Yeah. You know you still have established roots there, so I think that's that's yeah. dope. You know, come home. I must bring money, okay? Yeah. You must bring money. <laughs> you must. Come on. Or they will carry you away. Let me bring see. them dollars. <laughs> um, bring Naira. You got because dollars you can't spend dollars, you know. Oh. And then, you know yeah. you have to have it to Naira. Okay. Yeah. Mm, so, convert. Um, yeah, you gotta convert it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I'm learning. I, I'm still, you know, and and just. Learning and finding myself, you know, so this has been good. It's been good. Mm-hmm. It's been good. Going, look, you making them proud, though. Yeah. How they? So. Yeah, like LA. <laughs> Come on. Most definitely. Well, I definitely thank you for talking with me, you know. Yeah, right now. Oh for real. You know, tea time. Tea time. Period. Got me you know? talking. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for enjoying some this cannabis so things. Oh. Mm. Happy you enjoy it. Yeah, I got a box. Let's cheers that. Let's just cheers that. Yeah, I just like to see what Aww. Okay. <laughs> Mm. I drink daily that. things. For real, good job. Too. I don't sleep good. It's so good for it's us. It's so too. good. Can you tell the people, um, last but not least, how can they contact Tyria Legale? How can you find me? So um, my name is uh, Tyria Legale, and that's my handle. So at T A R I last name E L E G E L E, and my last name is a palindrome. So, backwards and forwards, we don't know what a palindrome is. I, I, I didn't know what a palindrome was either, too. Like, I feel like, oh, well, okay, I had, so I had to learn what a palindrome was. Anyway, mm-hmm. so, backwards and forwards, Tare, Allegale. Um, yeah, y'all, catch up with me sometimes. I'm, I'm going to be doing something. I'm going to be doing nothing with y'all. I'll be chilling. Yeah, booking and chilling. I'll be, I'll be chilling. chilling and booking. Come I'll be on. chilling. Yeah. Taking care of these kids. What? Mama Allegale. I'm a mommy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. People are like, no, you got kids. I'm like, look, I do got kids. Don't you gonna fight what? me. You gonna fight Come me. On. You don't believe me. They're like, you think I'm like, hey, big kids. Dude, look. <laughs> got big kids, yo. Shouts out to the children. Shout out to Trinity Come and Kari. I like LA. Let's go. Gang, gang. All right. I'm gonna go do it every time. They already know. Straight up. No, I appreciate you, though. Yeah. I'm gonna get you um, a box of this tea. I wish I had some more products made. Like, I'm definitely gonna get you some body oil and some okay. CBD oil. Okay. For Thank sure, you. for sure. Just so I like you can that. Look, well, cannabis gifts. I like giving away cannabis. Honestly, that's my thing. I like, I like gifts. But I got you. Yeah, I'm probably gonna like this. I love my age. What? That's you. <laughs> like that's it. real. See, I'm a. <laughs> mm, acts of like, acts of kindness. That's the yeah. I like that too. Acts of kindness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Nice shit for me. Like, yeah. like, nice shit, like, you know, yeah, it's like buying me gifts. Yeah, <laughs> good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna put the P.O. box okay. down here. Y'all can send her gifts to the honeycomb. I'll give yeah, them to her. Yeah, really send me gifts. That's nice. Like, I like gifts. For real. Thank you. Heck, yo. And bookings. And bookings. I like gifts. Oh.